This is Elizabeth Swider with Care Zero Geriatric Care Management. I'm here at Simple Comforts with Tina and John Ross, and they have a wide variety of cushions here that they're going to tell us about and how they're used. Right. Um, we went over earlier the swivel cushion to help get in and out of the car. It's very helpful. Um, for people who might be having some back issues, um, both for a vehicle or for their desk, having this lumbar cushion cradles their back and gives them support, fills in that lumbar area. Some people prefer a lumbar roll that they can fill in the area. Um, sometimes they're called a McKenzie roll. McKenzie is a brand, um, but these work just as well. And this is a half roll, so if you don't need as much support um, or to fill in the area for a smaller person, the half roll works well. Um, and then the coccyx cushion for someone who might be commuting a lot or their tailbone has been broken or a lot of pressure on their tailbone is painful. Um, the coccyx cushion can go into the car, it's wedged, so that it helps fill in the back of the car seat here. Um, so the coccyx cushion is nice. And there's several different kinds of coccyx cushions. There's another one here, they call this for a wheelchair but it can be used for any chair to take that pressure off the tailbone here. That one happens to be fleece lined and regular. I've got a memory foam coccyx cushion here. This one's very popular and a red, regular wedged cushion. And then this one, sometimes people come in and they, they want that basic ring. You can get an inflatable ring or this one happens to be a solid foam with a pillowcase over it, but the inside of it is a hollow here to take pressure off the coccyx area. Um, so that's, that's helpful. Um, then we get into wedges. People with sleep apnea or snoring, um, it's helpful to have a wedge so that they have a little bit of height when they're laying down. Wedges can be used. Most often you're using them for, um, to raise your, elevate your head. But they can be used as well the other way to elevate your legs. I prefer if you're going to be elevating your legs to use something different like one of these. This helps take stress off your lower back. Um, so if you want to use a wedge in combination with one of these, this would sort of mimic if you had a hospital bed and elevated your uh, shoulders and, and brought your knees up to take the stress off your lower back. That's helpful. And then we have ones like this that are used if you need to keep your feet elevated for swelling or any other reasons like that. These wedge the back of your knees come here and your feet are elevated. So that's nice. Um, and then all the different kinds of pillows and cushions for sleeping with, for cervical pillows, um, water pillows, um, these rolls can be slipped inside uh, a pillow that you may already be using, but you need a little bit of extra cervical support. There are different rolls, different sizes here that you can add to your pillows. Um, and then we have a couple of different CPAP pillows. One that's fiber filled, that's a little soft, softer, and a memory foam one here for someone who might like a little extra uh, firm or they're used to sleeping on a memory foam pillow. Um, these are very helpful as well. And then um, to add to um, the bed to help provide some extra um, cushioning, um, alleviate pressure. Uh, oftentimes therapists will send someone in for one of the convoluted bed pads. Um, if you don't want to go up to the ones with the pumps and you want to go something a little low tech, you can try this for extra pressure relief. And then for someone who might be having hip problems, the knee pillows go in between your knees to help keep you in alignment when you're sleeping. So all great items for people. Um, if, you're, if you're in bed a lot, oftentimes someone might be looking for pressure relief on heels or elbows from them rubbing often in the bed. So there are other little, they're called pillows, but they're actually to be worn on body parts to protect them so that they help prevent um, ulcers or sores uh, from being in, a, in the bed for so long. 
Um, and then for also, I know this is in my pillow area, but I'll show this. If you had to keep um, your legs elevated like one of those um, elevated leg rests over there and your feet are up higher or maybe your feet are sensitive and you don't like any weight of the blankets on your feet, this blanket support slips in between the mattress and box springs and helps keep the uh, covers off of your feet. And since we're in the, um, the, the bed area and the pillows and blankets and all that kind of thing, I do want to point out the hand bed rails because I often will recommend those to people who might have a risk of falling. When you first get up out of bed and you've been lying down for long periods of time, um, you can your blood pressure changes, you get lightheaded, so it's always nice to have something to pull yourself up. And then when you stand up, you have something to help balance yourself before you get going. So very easy just to slip in between the mattress and box springs to give uh, someone some added safety and security. Thank you so much.